Uh, we're in the last days, and the closer that we get to the rapture, the manifestations of the sons of God are going to be happening. People are going to be receiving deeper and deeper revelations, um, and other people are going to drift farther and farther away from the truth. Everybody's on a different level, so to speak. So I'll just try to explain to you what I can with where I'm at. So if you look at the board here, this is what I filmed, guys. And I'll show you at the end of this video. Most of you have seen it. You see a little uh, figure, person. I put a mohawk on him. That was me. And then you see the wheel within the wheel. And these are the stars above us. But they're, they're angels. They're messengers. And this is what you see in the movie Contact. When Jodie Foster gets dropped through another wheel within the wheel. In this sphere so to speak, and she travels to another dimension, and it's showing you the differences in time and space, and heaven, so to speak, and this is what is above us every night. Now, we have to understand, when we're trying to understand the mysteries of God, one of the key points to remember is that Everything is connected in some way, shape, or form. Everything. Everything here. That is how God works. And it's like this. Like the whirlwind. At the bottom it starts small. And then you work your way up. And as you work your way up to heaven it gets larger and larger and larger. So for instance. <clears throat> this right here. The person. The spirit of the person. In the wheels within the wheels can also be symbolically seen at the small molecular level as the atom in the middle get it atom the first man and then the nucleon the protons and the electrons circling around him see this is how God is this is how he built this place that's how he that's the mind of God now <laughs> It's interesting that we have two wheels in Ezekiel chapter 1. It talks about the spirit of the living creature. Aren't we new creatures in Christ? Get it? Creatures. The Bible says we'll be as the angels of God. Okay. So you have a circle and then another circle. A wheel within a wheel. I believe symbolic of the bow in the sky. The firmament. As you see half of it here, the other, it goes around the entire flat earth. It's like that. And I believe many people know that there are double rainbows. A double firmament. So you have another one that goes around everything. The flat earth. Just like the person or the spirit of the living creature in Ezekiel 1. Inside one... But not one, two firmaments or wheels, so to speak. Now it's interesting to me that we see this symbol um, used in Satanism, I guess you could say. And what it is, is a star in the wheel, within the wheel. They, they know something that's symbolizing this. We are the stars. And the angels are the stars. But we will be as the angels of God in heaven. So, is this symbol good or bad? Well, I'm not sure. But all I know is that it represents this right here. Reality. That I filmed. Then we look at the bow, the rainbow. In the sky that God showed us to symbol symbolically represent the firmament. And it has seven, no, six colors, or seven colors, seven colors of the rainbow. And when I filmed the stars above, which are angels, some of them had the seven colors of the rainbow. You're going to see this 
in the end of this video. They had all the colors of the rainbow just like the bow. As I said, everything is connected and it keeps getting larger and larger from the molecular level. And even before the molecular level, you go into the invisible realm. Remember, on earth as it is in heaven. So, everything we see when you get to the invisible realm, there is um, a similarity, high similarities. Even when they pray, they says, let your will be done, God, on earth as it is in heaven. And that's a principle that God uses on earth as it is in heaven. <clears throat> and when you put all the seven colors of the rainbow together, you get white light. You get white light. And I think I still have a picture of one of the angels that I filmed that is white light. And so there's some key points to remember. On earth as it is in heaven. I always try to put that in my videos. Um, when you see earthly things, it's a shadow of the heavenly things. But earthly things always fade away. And then the growth the <clears throat> the how it starts it starts on the molecular level it actually starts in the invisible realm but it starts on the molecular level and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger you see an atom which we're made up of then you see this symbolic of an atom almost or connected to the atom and then you see the earth the flat earth with the two firmaments going around just like an atom and and then you see the seven colors of the rainbow in the stars. See the seven colors of the rainbow in the stars. And all seven colors are white light together. And I've also filmed the white stars. And I think I have a picture of them. I'll, I'll see. But just some principles to remember. And also I wanted to show how this symbol, whether you call it Satanist or not, I don't know. But what I do know is that the star... Surrounded by the two wheels is what Ezekiel is what Ezekiel explains. The the spirit of the living creature inside the wheel within the wheels. So again, remember, um, we don't really know who's Christian and who's Satanist, because a lot of people that I think are Christ that call themselves Christians, they can have the darkest hearts. It's all about what the heart reads and. We can't see that. We can only take our, our best guess. guess. So, <clears throat> anyways, thank you guys. Here's the video of the angel that I filmed. The spirit of the living creature in the middle. And then the rainbow. On, and the whole thing is all seven colors of the rainbow. Then I'll see if I can find some pictures of the white star. The, wow, look at the colorful wheels within the wheels right above us every night. My goodness. As you can see, when we zoom in and slow it down, you see the colors of the rainbow. And you can actually see what looks like a person figure in the middle. In the wheels within the wheels. And these are above us every single night. Just like it's explained in Ezekiel chapter 1, the wheels within the wheels and the spirit of the living creature inside of the wheels. It's very beautiful, actually. It was very beautiful. Here is the white one that I filmed, and this is just a snapshot. And that is the camera that I used, a Nikon P900 Coolpix. They are so close, right above us. Stars are angels. It's amazing. And if you've been following me for any amount of time, you've already seen these videos, pictures.